there are no medics in this training. The medics run the training. This is all soft skill as far as communications. We've, we've had a cook come through the course. We've got a lot of mechanics that come through the course. Um, mostly we do Cav Scouts because we're a Cav Squadron, but this is all for non-medical personnel. But they have to have Combat Lifesaver to come here. So they have to have that first step Combat Lifesaver training week long, and then they've met the requirements to attempt to pass Dakota First Responder. Experience, it's been uh, a lot of hands-on. In the classes, it's a lot of hands-on. Um, we practice a lot with IVs, saying that none of us have done it before. So um, they make sure that we're very proficient at what we do for any circumstances. A little challenging remembering the names and the dosages of a lot of the equipment that you use, but overall, it's, it's a good course. If you work hard, you'll get it. CLS is a great course. It's proven its worth after, you know, as I said, two years or uh, two decades of combat in which um, we've been able to prove that CLS saves lives. And now we have to take that to the next level. And by adding another week of medical training where we incorporate more technical interventions, we can meet that goal of being able to sustain a casualty for longer than 24 hours. And that's what this course is all about.